accidents happen when you shoot and accidents are always better than what is planned, more often than not. You know. The reason I think again is that, you know, in why I keep talking of Bresson, is it's very well known that he used to take 30 takes, 40 takes, sometimes having done that he used to take the second take. But inevitably he will make the actors, non-actors, whom we call models, go through many takes. So for him, setting, setting up the shot, setting the camera, giving action to the actor was only a mechanism. It was not the object to be realized or executed. And that's where the problem is, I think. When I speak of either representation or non-representation cinema, the, uh, the idea of time is always beyond, you know, the idea of control. That's what I feel. So he would wait, he, after having given the action to the actor and cameraman and then go through the scene, shoot it, and he would not accept, he would not accept the take unless there was a, a kind of, uh, uh, it had become, it had become outside of the control of the actor, that, that the actor suddenly did something that was not planned, or the cameraman did something, or the, the way the entire take took place wasn't what they had planned. What they had planned, therefore, was not a plan to be executed, but just a kind of mechanism which will bring the actor inside the room, make him sit down, please turn it off, uh, excuse me, uh, bring the actor, sit down on the table, get out, simple, simple actions which are like mechanisms, you know. And he made them go through. Sometimes he took only two or three shots a day because the accident must take place. The accident is beyond control of execution. And filmmakers will always tell you, you know, I was making a film and I was shooting a scene at a very old camera and I had to run it on 150 frames. And I was shooting from a high, high sort of skyscraper. And it was Mitchell, old camera, Mitchell camera. And then when we started shooting, it was, you know, so reverberating, you know, the, the whole camera was kind of, you know, shaking. Uh, so that, that while I took a very lengthy shot, the focus ring was moving and, and, and then focus wing, wing in the opposite direction. So by the time the shot ended, it was out focus. And I thought it was a great shot. My cameraman thought it was a great shot. And Sani was my cameraman, you know. And uh, the assistant said that, I'm sorry, you know, that I didn't realize that this is an old camera and shaking so the focus ring was moving. Everything must be out of focus. So we were both disappointed and we had to take another take. So we took another take and put a tape on the focus ring so that it doesn't move and took the shot. But when I saw the two shots, I actually liked the one that went out focus. It had such a great quality that I never planned. That is very important that Bresson actually followed a certain development in Christian philosophy, beginning with Saint Augustine, who was the first one to talk of grace. And then in Holland, there was a man who picked it up called Janssen. That philosophy of grace, which meant that it chooses its own recipient, that there is no action in the world, there is no virtuous or such path that can lead you to grace. The grace will fall on its own accord, on the object it wants to fall. So a donkey, in case of Besson, can become a saint, a pickpocket can become a saint, a young girl can become a saint. It chooses its own recipient. So the idea of the grace, actually, if you think, you know, is very different from the idea that is followed by Jesuits. And there was a very big debate between Janssen and Bresson was Pascal in France. And Pascal had a very big debate with the Jesuits. The Jesuits. And the Jesuits, of course, prescribed a certain moral code, a certain virtuous path in order to achieve something. Whereas Pascal, in fact, talking on the lines of Janssenism, said that it will lead to nothing because you have no faith. You have not faith on whom it will choose. You know? So in case of Bresson, although Bresson himself never extensively spoke about it, because I've read quite a lot of text, only once he mentioned this, and I also met him once, 15 minutes or so, in Paris, I, I could get to him. And I understood that for him, that idea of the accident the idea of such random intrusion into the shot is an act of grace. Therefore, he wasn't creating, he was merely recognizing 
The work of a filmmaker is recognition. It's not a work of somebody creating.